Sup, bitches. A. Hey, sup, bitches. It's your boy, Omega Warden, and today we got a delightful treat for you. Rant House 4 is here, and it is more or less a response video that someone made on me. That video is going to be on. Alright. We get the fucking point. Damn it. Cursed Mary. Why do you have to interrupt me every fucking time I make a sentence or statement? Anyways. Today's video will be on a commentary that Foxy the Fox 110 made on me. We don't know whether it will be bad, but, or straight up mediocre. Also, I'm not going to show you my video that I made before this, since you can literally see it on YouTube still. Let's begin. Not even a minute into the beginning of the video we get an intro made in intro maker with an intro maker and a kind master watermark. You do realize that you can get a mod a PK of Kind Master that removes the watermark, as well as make your intro on Panzoid, right? Hell, the intro that you've seen into the beginning of this video is inspired by, and is a carbon copy of Chad Warden's intro. At the same time, you could literally pay an editor real money to whip you up an intro as well too. Let's continue with this shit. Fox on your intent, and welcome to Foxy's commentaries hashtag... Okay, I'm gonna mention this briefly. You do realize that YouTube disabled the dislike button, right? So basically, by disliking the video, you are essentially doing absolutely fucking nothing in regards to that. Also, last time I checked, after I enabled the dislike button with an extension, I had all likes and no dislikes for some reason. More like... His con... More like a mod your content is way better than... Jelly Beans content. Alright, that is a fair enough point you made there. If I were forced to watch Jelly Beans content, or Emoji Marbles' content, I would probably watch Emoji Marbles' videos, because at least as far as I have seen in his 219th commentary, he made some very great points against the troll, but it should be apparent that you should not respond to trolls period, because at the end of the day, all they want is some attention. Or baby valid reasons. I'll have to call you out. Oh, oh, scary! Oh, 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 shiver my timbers! Shut up, man! More like he's one of the best users ever. I wouldn't consider Emoji Marbles' content to be that bad, really, because I have seen worse. I would more or less consider him to be a mediocre YouTuber, because most of his content is straight up mediocre. He does make. He, he does uh, have valid criticism in his videos. In, in this commentaries, dude. I literally mentioned that about so many minutes into this video right here. Also, I mentioned that he rarely gives good points, as seen with his commentary number 219, but out of all of the commentaries, a majority of which either have very bad points, or he is giving the trolls the publicity they want. And stupid copyright claimable reaction clips. Well, he... He's not getting paid or, any, or anything, so it's not legal or anything. He's not getting paid or anything is such a petty bullshit excuse for why you would upload copyright claimable reaction clips that massive corporations or conglomerates own that technically aren't yours. If anything, I really do not blame those corporations or conglomerates that want to copyright claim that shit because they are within their full legal right to do so. Also, let me go over a short overview on what fair use is. Fair use is basically a legal protection that lets you do some things in regards to copyright. This video that I'm making here is fully under fair use because I'm using short clips from your video as well as some other short clips or memes while including mostly Omori gameplay to express my points as well. I was initially going to use Persona 4 Golden gameplay, but I also said, in that video, that I was going to either use PlayStation Vita gameplay, or Omori gameplay. Back on the topic of fair use by the way. The reason why those copyrightable reaction clips are not fair use is, because you technically do not own them, but the reason why they are allowed to stay on YouTube, is because YouTube is under the Safe Harbor Act which makes them not liable for posting copyrightable clips on their site. Let us commence forth with the response video. More like, he's a terrible YouTube. More like, terrible YouTuber. Cause, he bullied somebody. He bull he bullied two people with autism, which is a monkey marbles. Cause he made fun of monkey marbles when he has autism, and then he bullied 
forgot her, her name though. But she, but she told me in the comment section of my commentary on Mr. Dot Hater, Mr. Noob Dot Hater's com on my commentary on Mr. Dot Hater's rare on emoji marbles. Alright, let me go over something that you may not know about me. I'm also autistic myself, but that still does not excuse the fact that you can also be criticized as well, since this is the internet. If you actually open your fucking eyes, that noob hater is clearly criticizing on why their content is bad, and yet you are too scared to admit that their content is bad. If you really consider criticism to be bullying, then why in the fuck are you on youtube.com of all places? I bet at least 20 million dollars that emoji marbles is gonna whine. And nope, he's not, dude. He isn't whine, dude. Complained about this video in his community tab. Anyway. He didn't complain about it in his community tab, dude. What he said in the community tab was not complaining. I bet at least 20 million dollars that Emoji Marbles is gonna whine. And complain about this video in his community tab. Oh shit! You are entirely wrong. Because he clearly whined and complained the fact that he thinks that I'm friends with that noob hater, which personally speaking, I do not know the guy personally. I only made that video because I wanted to actually make a reaction commentary out of it as well. And well, that part of the video aged pretty fucking well. What the f- dude, now you're you making fun of somebody with- now you making fun of- you just made fun of somebody with autism, dude. I am going to remind you in advance that I am very sorry and I apologize for the inconvenience of me not giving up. I'm clearly sure that I was 100% joking when I included that photo of that guy saying actually. And also I'm not going to apologize for that because it was clearly an edgy joke that I wanted to insert in there. Did he just say that screen recording? Is literally fucking effort. Yes, he did. Was it? And he's right. <laughs> hey, y'all, come look at this. Yes, he did. Was it? And he's right. <laughs> In the whole commentary video made against me, this person includes the fact several times of the a more like b term, an edgy joke that I clearly made on emoji marbles is somehow apparently a blist, and that is basically it. I'm not going to include that same scene, because you get the point on how using a screen recorder is not literally effort, and in case you don't know, watch Rand House number 3 and skip to the 2 minute and 40 second mark, where I discuss that. I can guarantee you, that it is not because of a sub bot, because all he can do, is literally post the same two or more images as reaction clips. By the way, I used a He does not sub bot dude. I literally said, that he didn't sub bot. What part of the phrase of it's not because of a sub bot do you not get? Nothing of value was lost. Did he just you? Wow, dude. So why, why did you had you just put the work of him of him burning? Wow, dude, that's cyborg. That scene is literally from an animated show called The Critic, and the full reference is the fact that the musical called Cats was complete dog shit, and that is the reason why the building burned down. And the critic said that and nothing of value was lost. I put Emoji Marbles' profile picture there in that video. Because like the musical Cats, Emoji Marbles' own content is also dog shit. Also, the same reason why I included that clip was also for comedy purposes as well as the fact of that person saying actually. You may have noticed that I skipped over the parts that include the actually guy because this person says literally the same exact thing about that I'm somehow making fun of him. Not related, but I'm not doing the Jellybean rant as a rant house video, but I'm going to do that video as a standalone rant because that video would not be rant house worthy. Your commentary, the co his commentary was one of my favorite commentaries from his commentary, um, that commentary that Mr. Noob Mr. Noob that hate, I mean, Emoji Marbles commentary on Mr. Noob that hater. There's rant on him. 
was actually one of the best commentators, well, I mean, one of my favorite commentators from Emoji Marbles. If I were forced to pick Emoji Marbles as commentaries as one of my favorites, I would say his 219th commentary is probably the best, because he absolutely destroys the troll hating on him. At the same time, if you were to fully understand the full context on the dat noob hater video and some of the criticism points that he did make against him, you would actually see that Emoji Marbles is actually wrong entirely. Dat noob hater says that he edits on mobile, which is completely true, but Emoji Marbles edits on PC, as well as his phone. Hell, this video that I'm making is entirely made in Sony Vegas Pro 14, because when I tried to use Sony Vegas Pro 15 on here, the editor refused to work at all, and no files would load at all. Let's see what else they have to say as well. You realize that the vine you used is pretty much a dead meme. It's not a dead meme, dude, there's the people who use it. The vine has been in existence since 2015, so that would almost make it a 7 year old clip. In terms of the meme being dead or not, the meme is really dead, because literally no one actually uses it anymore. Fun fact. Vine has been dead for almost 6 years, so that clip is pretty much a very dead clip nowadays. Everyone is focused now on Will Smith slapping Chris Rock at the Oscars, and also trying to find some memes for April as well. I know a lot about meme culture, because I watch a lot of meme clips too. In conclusion, the rest of the video is basically describing on how horrible my commentary is, despite the fact that I clearly put more effort than someone literally screen recording. At the same time, the commentary made against me was completely fucking horrible, as they accused me of siding with a la, cough, cough, dat noob hater, and the fact that I was falsely being accused of making fun of someone with autism, aka, emoji marbles. I actually watched the dat noob hater video against emoji marbles, and I actually enjoyed it 100%, because he did make some fair points. I don't know why you would choose that video of me commentating about emoji marbles when I have other rant videos as well. Hell, you could have made a rant about my unscripted rant house video about fucking pronouns for pets sake. I would personally ramble more here, but I give that video a complete negative infinity out of a 10 because the video you made was complete dog shit. Alternatively, you made very horrible points being made against me, although I clearly proved them in the video. Most of the points you did make were either explained in the video, or the fact that I'm a horrible person for not taking emoji marbles aside, woe me. You probably only made this commentary against me because I talked complete shit about your favorite YouTuber, when I could literally name several other YouTubers that are just as good. Finally, just use either a video editor or the video editor inside of the screen recorder itself. Anyways, I'm out. Peace. as planned.